Now, would you have a look who I've bumped into up here in the high country, Andrew Dwyer. G'day, Pete. How are you? Good, mate. If you remember last year, Andrew was on the show, and he's the master of outback cooking. So you've got a delicious recipe for us today, haven't you, mate? Well, today, this is a really easy dish that you can cook on the road. What we're going to do is we're going to roast a whole leg of lamb in the camp oven. But first, we're going to do a couple of unusual things to it. We're going to slice up some onions. We're going to pour in a bottle of port. Oh. And it's Brown Brothers port from the local area. Beautiful. Now, this leg is designed to fit in the oven perfectly. But first, what I want you to do is I want you to chop the skins off those onions yep. and slice them in half because we'll use the onions as a bed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make incisions in the top of the lamb, like a crosshatch pattern, in which I'm going to stuff pieces of garlic, anchovy and rosemary. So where do you get your inspiration from, Andrew, for recipes like this? Yep. All of this. I think that's it. There's nothing better than being in the bush and eating well. And so I reckon that, uh, that you know, if you like good food and you like eating well and you go to the bush, what do you want to do? You want to cook. Now, good but food doesn't have to be complicated either, does well, it? Well, that's it. You don't want to spend all day cooking. You want to be out enjoying the bush. And so that's why I like these really simple recipes. Now, I'm just stuffing some anchovies into those little holes that I cut into the top of the lamb before. Just break them apart with your fingers. Now, yeah. anchovies and lamb, great combination, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's fantastic. It's just the, the saltiness of the anchovy. And strangely enough, you don't taste any fish in it afterwards. <laughs> um, and then also into those holes, what I want to do is I want to stuff some garlic. So a couple of pieces of garlic. And this flavour will go right through the whole of the lamb. It's just absolutely delicious. Now, it? you've written a beautiful book called Outback, Recipes and Stories from the Campfire. That's right. It is a gorgeous book, and it's shot all over Australia, is it? Yeah, all out, out in the deserts and in, in the bush. It's, uh, it's all about food that you can eat and enjoy when you're in the middle of nowhere. Can you pass us that rosemary? Oh. Beautiful. This came out of my garden. I brought it out here with me. And so it grows me like and this. And you actually live up here in the high country, don't you? That's right. I live in a little town called Jamison, which is about uh, oh, 80 k as the crow flies from here. And it's a tiny little place. It's only got 200 people. So it's, a, it's a nice place to, uh, to come home to, that's for sure. OK, so that's done. So we place the lamb in the oven on that bed. Now, do you want to pour that bottle of port in? Sure. Well, why have you chosen port? Well, the port adds a really just oh, just around the side. We don't need to pour it over the one. Now, the great thing about a camp oven is that when we put the lid on, it it does two things at once. Say when. Keep going. All of it. That's it. Beautiful. Fantastic. What it'll do is the lamb won't go into the port, but the port will add this fantastic um, moisture to the to, to the dish. But what happens is that the camp oven both bakes and braises at the same time. Well, that's it really. Over to the fire. Simple as that. So you grab that yep. and the shovel and we'll go. Now, what do you need the shovel for? Well, what I want to do is I want to pull the coals off the fire because you don't want to cook on the fire. It's too hot. You'll singe your arm hairs and you'll also burn your food. So what's good to do is to take a shovel load of coals. If you notice, I've let the fire burn down. So there's not a great deal of flame, but we've just got these lovely hot coals. And then whack the camp oven on and then grab another shovel load of coals onto the top like that. And that's going to give it enough heat to cook? That will be right for about 15, 20 minutes. Yep. And then I'll just put another shovel load of coals on top and uh, the heat radiates down. And what you're going to do is you're going to cook it nice and evenly through that cast iron. Come back in an hour and a half and I reckon she'll be tops. And due to the magic of television, you've been up here making one earlier for us. We've already done it. Beautiful. So let's take the lid off and see what it looks like. Oh, oh, look at that. Bush cooking at its finest, mate. That looks beautiful. Oh, fabulous. Now, what do we do? Well, I reckon we'll take it over the table, carve it up and eat it. Jeez, you just drive a hard bargain. That sounds <laughs> great. Oh, this is going to be great. Do you need tongs? Simple two-knife trick, mate. You're teaching me a few tricks here, mate. Straight out. Now, let's have a look at this. I'll bring it round. Oh, even the sound of it sounds great. Oh, wow. This is fantastic, and it's very tender and moist. And that's what a camp oven does. A camp oven, it just retains the moisture in the food. Oh, look at the garlic and the rosemary in there. Man, I'm just going to... Let's go. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> what more would you want? It's no, all right. That is the best lamb I have ever tasted, mate. Thank you, Pete. What do you call yeah. it? 
Well, I call it uh, roast leg of lamb with anchovies and garlic in the camp oven with a bottle of port. <laughs> Sounds bloody good to me, mate. Well done. That is so good. Mm. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Well, I see.